Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So it's still a pretty nice day out there on the Sun Coast. Uh, the winds are up just a little bit, perhaps, but uh, so far we haven't seen much in the way of any rainfall around the area, and I don't think it'll be until you know time of maximum heating when we have a chance of seeing that. That'll kind of coincide with the frontal passage, that time of maximum heating, and uh, as we get into the three, four, five o'clock time frame. That's when we have that chance of seeing an isolated shower. This is not going to be a rain out event by any stretch of the imagination. But, like I said, it's our only chance of getting much needed rainfall. Down about two and a quarter for the month. We're down about five inches for the year. Moving still in the uh, dry season, moving into fire season, coming just before uh, we get into uh, our thunderstorm season starting in June, so we could use a little bit of rainfall. Also, the drought indexes are beginning to climb as well. Parts of Charlotte County and Lee County getting up there in terms of their numbers. So you know, hopefully we'll get a little something around here today. As far as the temperatures go, we are looking at uh, temperatures that are generally speaking in the... Uh, Generally speaking, in the 60s to the north of us, up around the Jacksonville area. And then as we head south, they get a little bit warmer. Mostly, they're cooler to the north because of the cloud cover that we have had up there because of the ongoing shower and thunderstorm activity. Temperatures across the region are generally near the 80 degree mark, closer to the coastline, busting the 80 degree mark as you move a little bit further inland. That's uh, about as warm as it gets today. Maybe we'll add a couple of degrees onto it, but not much. 79 degrees, the current air temperature, which is pretty warm actually. 62 our dew point. East wind brisk now at about 14. We have the frontal boundary sinking southward, creating the little bit of diffuse cloud cover that we see to the north and the more industrious thunderstorm activity down to the south. That frontal boundary continuing to push southward will clear our area later tonight and leave us with some fairly pleasant conditions by tomorrow and into the next couple of days. There are rain showers now located just to the north of us sinking southward. They'll be moving into our region a little bit later, as I mentioned in the day. But uh, as far as any kind of big thunderstorm activity, severe weather, say, I don't think we'll see that around here. We'll see some showers, may see a pop or two of lightning, but otherwise, uh, pretty much quiet conditions. Not much going on in any of the airport hubs that serve our area. Raleigh, Durham, Charlotte, Atlanta all look just pretty fine. Uh, not much issue there. A few thunderstorms up near the Ohio Valley, but the severe weather on the eastern half of the nation would be located down in the southern tip of the state. We have a marginal risk of seeing some severe weather, not tornadoes, but uh, severe weather in the form of gusty winds, maybe some small hail, from about Charlotte County southward. It incorporates some of Sarasota County. It's been moved a little bit further to the north because these thunderstorms over on the other coast have kind of held together. The frontal boundary itself sinks southward high pressure builds in winds pick up just a little bit as well so we have an exercise caution statement for our near shore waters and a small craft advisory for offshore waters that'll be through the day today and then we'll start to see those winds begin to subside a little bit as we head into tomorrow over the weekend some pretty nice boating weather forecast calling for that 30 percent chance of showers today I should adjust that daytime high temperature up to about 82 for a daytime high today, but about 77 tomorrow. And then as we head into the next several days, sunshine returns and fine weather on the sun coast.